How's it going out there? We are back with another Letterboxd Horror Marathon for October of 2020, and we're coming up to the end of my list. Uh, I've probably got another video after this, maybe, and then maybe a bonus one, I'm not sure. Um, the last video I did was for the, humans, the first two Human Centipede movies, and from there forward, it's kind of been just a downhill. It's not been great. Uh, so let's dive in. The first one I'm, I watched was, uh, antiviral and this is from 2012. It's a Brandon Cronenberg film, which is Cronenberg's son. And it's a body horror as you would expect and everything. The movie just didn't really do well for me. It was kind of a slower paced movie, which wasn't bad. I didn't have a problem with the pacing. It just started off more like a uh, Black Mirror episode and some sci-fi stuff. And then it kind of went into a murder mystery and that's when it just fell apart. Uh, the movie was okay. I enjoyed it overall. So I gave it three out of five stars. But it just, that murder thing just didn't really work for me. The next movie that I watched is basically... Kind of the human centipede sort of thing. This is Tusk from 2014, and this is a Kevin Smith movie. This movie was uh, tedious, is the word I would describe. I just couldn't stand some of the characters in here. Uh, Justin Long's character was just a complete douchebag throughout the whole thing. And I, <laughs> there's a part where the, the guy rips his tongue out. And I was like, man, thank God, because I don't have to hear this guy blab it anymore. Michael Parks was good in it, but I didn't care for his character that much. He, his lines were terrible. He delivered them well, but his lines were just terrible. And then you get in there with um, Johnny Depp and Johnny Depp was, man, not, not good. Uh, I did like the walrus costume once they got that thing set up, but the rest of the story was, meh, it was not good. I gave this one two out of five stars. And I actually rated this higher than I did Yoga Hosers. Yoga Hosers is way worse than this movie. This one is at least somewhat watchable. Yoga Hosers was god-awful. The one after that that I watched, and this is another slider, man. This has been just downhill. Is a movie called The Eve. Uh, this one I gave two out of five stars also. Um, this was supposed to be one of my primarily black cast or black directed film. And it had one black guy in the entire thing. And... So it did, I'm glad I stacked my list with some other films uh, because this just didn't fit the bill. I don't know what list I got this off of, but it wasn't a good list. Um, but the movie was interesting to start with. These, these four people are going off on New Year's Eve to go out to a party. Well, to a cabin type thing out on uh, Martha's Vineyard. And they're going to be secluded out there by themselves and... It started off okay. There was some drama between them. The one guy was in an investment with the other guy, and it just things didn't work out, and they the, they both lost money and everything. And the one guy is just trying to get through the weekend and have fun for New Year's, and the other guy keeps pressing him, "Where's my money? Where's everything at?" And all this. And then somebody dies, and then things start taking leaps. Like they all of a sudden just know the guy's been murdered. I mean, he could have OD'd. He could have drowned. He was off by the ocean when he died. It, it was just some weird things. The next thing you know, they're worried about a serial killer. And then they decide they're going to try to call. And they pick up the phone and the phone doesn't ring. So they go over to the electrical box and start figuring out which breaker they're going to switch for a phone. And it was like, man, they the writing just got horrendous after a while. And I, I this movie was short, but I got bored with it. And I just, I hated it. Again, I gave this thing two out of five stars. It started off cool. It just didn't end that well. And you could figure out who it was. They show you who it was pretty much from the start. So this wasn't even clever. Oh, the slide continued all the way to Human Centipede 3, which is another one I gave two out of five stars. This movie was, oh my God. The first one I could appreciate. The second one I could really appreciate. I thought it was a, a, a well-made film. I did not like it. I didn't like sitting through it. This thing here, oh my God, this thing was hard to watch. If you've ever seen Thanks Killing 3, you'll know what this, that I liken this movie to that. Because Human Centipede 3 was just awful to sit through. It was boring. It was not funny. It was not fun. There was like, 
like even in the second one, the second human centipede, I could appreciate what they were going for and everything. This one, everything was so over the top and so just out there. And they did so many bodily fluid things that were just not interesting. And I, I didn't like this one. Didn't like it at all. And I gave it two out of five stars. And the last film I watched this morning, uh, this is the 17th, was uh, Housewife. And I gave this one three out of five stars. I was hoping this movie would pick things up for me, but it didn't do a very good job of it. Um, it it's a cosmic horror type thing. And when it starts off, you see some girl with her sister and her mother's off doing some weird voodoo black magic thing. And uh, witchery, whatever she's into, she's off doing this ceremony. And next thing you know, one of the daughters ends up dead and the wife kills the husband. And, and it just kind of goes from there. And of course, the little girl survives and comes out. And it gets a little bit, um, if you've ever seen the movie called A Dark Song, it's kind of like that, the way it goes. A little bit of the void, maybe. But it just never really didn't really go anywhere. The last five minutes I thought were awesome, but everything before that was just kind of, eh, it, it just didn't really, there was a lot of eroticism, soft core porn type thing going on with various people. And I, I don't know, that stuff just never works for me. Uh, unless it's maybe a slasher or something. It just didn't add anything to the story. Now, if this would have, so this ends with some cosmic horror. There's some coming out of the sky, which was pretty cool. And that's what you're going to watch this for. Um, pretty much. The thing is, if they would have cut this movie down to say a 20 or 30 minute intro to get to that cosmic horror section and then showed you this awesome thing, I think it would have been much better. Now I really just want to go watch Possession and In the Mouth of Madness because those movies do whatever this tried to do way better. So I'm probably going to watch those when I'm done with this, with my list. Um, I might save those for uh, Halloween night. But at any rate, that's kind of where I'm at. And let's see here. I only have seven movies on my list left, and I've got like two weeks to finish this. Uh, the next one up is going to be Hagazusa, and then I've got The Quiet Room, Monstrum, Nightmare Cinema, It Part 2, Invisible Man, and Relic. And I'm, I'm hoping that God, these got to get better, man. Th this run here was bad. This was not good. Uh, I don't want to say boring, but it was just not a good combination of movies to sit through. So hopefully these pick up, and that's all we got for now. So we'll catch you on the next one.